Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mimir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. back. How did it go? We should trouble us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah. Sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on. Let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sandry? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tyr. I believe you just might.
I'm just gonna keep working on this till you're ready to head out. I think I need to clear my head. Freya's made her room so verdant and calming. I don't suppose she'd mind. Care to join me, Kratos? Have a seat, think about your breathing, try and find stillness in your mind? No. Brother, before we check on Freya, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. I can forge some new stuff for you. Appreciate it. Now that is an axe. Put some herd on them. You make up your mind. You are well. <laughs> Take more than a port full of bone John stiffs to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head, begging for attention? I was mauled by a bear. Nudged more like it. Hey, wait. We're with you.
Back to Midgard? We still have unfinished business there. Midgard's frozen lake still teems with raider camps. The wolf eaters? We can't just let them... Enough. I remember. <gasps> Travel to Vanaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So, what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? <laughs> Hey, is that soundstone on that log? I could get us past it. Ski off of There we go. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother.
Kratos. Atreus. A welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man. Or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildas Vini. Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's boar. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freyr and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Hey, that happened. An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You'd have my gratitude. We're spread thin, and if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> you think he's really going oh. to me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine mm -hmm. still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. <laughs> but so is privacy. Huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. <gasps> Oh, 
different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods, either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. But as Vini said, both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir's the Light Elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar, married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. <laughs>
I said it was foretold. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's probably why the Anriar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. Alka! I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. sleeping well there you have it the legendary celestial wolves supremely entertaining as promised remember their shrine they didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned and then chased an arrow across the sky right well best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs eh as if that's a perfectly normal thing to say Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who else are our players on? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier. 
Once walking the path of a traveler, <laughs> I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Fitting. There she is again. I guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. <laughs> I bring it down. We strike. Yep. Definitely an ambush. 
Yes. Careful, brother. You're covered in That puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh. Come on! A double ambush? Okay, you see that coming. Oh. Oh. She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Charm. They are not smart. I understand. <laughs> you know what we're doing right now? 
all of this? It's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our feet's gone skyward. <sighs> this? It's from Helheim. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Father. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. all this what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok isn't there any way to avoid fate your fate what if we can't stop you from would you turn your back on the wolves on this realm remember our agreement the lad does make some good points though as long as Atreus lives so be it There's nothing.
just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Lot. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. <clears throat> Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda's Feeney and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Look out! Same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuriar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said? It will not come to that. Go! 
like the ego. We can get across from up
So, we report back to Hilda's Feeney. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for masterpieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. Plants you want to kill us? No, no. Only the canapsious ones. Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossender. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bale has already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, calm it down. This will be of use. Nice work with the wolves. I've never seen any clips in Vanaheim. Yeah, sort of Beagun, how is he? Mm -hmm. He rests. Any last minute preparations on your end before we spring Freya? Just this. It prepares my mind. Your fire blades are looking a little cool. Hand them over. Oh, hi. Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cutie pie. Should have seen him a couple of winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. Ain't nothing wrong with a growing boy. Think you're gonna be okay? His time with the angel yard wasn't pleasant. But Luna did rest. Let me stop you right there, killer. Brock ain't one to go breaking no confidences. Not even when it comes to the dearly departed. You don't hear me spreading your business all over town, do you? Smiths don't blab. Just how it's gotta be. The Yarr have never been this well -ordered. So, Brock, if Lunda can step between realms to travel about like you, I presume it must be the guild you know each other from. Maybe. 
Or maybe I just showed her a few tricks while we were tying one on. Or maybe I showed him. You don't know us, Clever Pants. Lunda, what do you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Big Fair and Bela? Well, they were both imprisoned by one side or another, or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being left always a risk. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> you could say the same about hot cheese. Linda. What do you know of Birga, the Traveler? Not much. I ain't the talking type, really. But from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Traveler for a time, then found out something that made him step off it. Hard. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along, Probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesvini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Good! That's the way! Oh, 
Rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many. <laughs> Hmm. Gah! Hmm. 
Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. Perhaps. not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? God, Amir. What? most annoying man alive. More up ahead. On your mark. From above, my cross. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Alas, poor Neithog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neithog protects the tree's roots wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Maybe your spear can get us across.
make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! No. Oh. If it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. Heimdall. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished. Here. No. What you got? It's your reputation. I thought I would at least break a sweat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Write him down, Wiltover. <laughs> So aggressive, so angry. Not going to lie, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Have some vine rust. On me! Whoa! What did Cool Talk forever do to you? Really? You are the one who killed Balder? Advantage? Huh. Ah! 
Is that an option? Not in this reality, traitor. No.
slow down. Come on, brother. You hit him once. Just gotta find the right opening. You know, pain is not as bad as I remember. <laughs> there we are. Armor fit for a cop. What is going on in that empty little head? Oh, no, 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 no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, and you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him! <laughs> <laughs> This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. <laughs> you are in way over your head! <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the Aces, the Herald of Ragnarok! <laughs> I am going to find that little monster of yours and beat his face into a pulp! <laughs> Way over your head! <laughs> Only one of us is walking away from this. And it sure as shit will not be you! Dare you try and spare me? I am growing very sick of you. Slow it down.
accept who you want to be! to us. That was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate or fate's breaking us. At least the rescue's going well. Get 
company back here. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Uh, we're almost there, right? Archers ahead! Oh, seriously? them for long. Just seeing your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that.
really think that's the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. Cloth and boiling water. Red root and lamb's crest. I know, I know. You think I never staunched a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck you says to me for? I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Wherever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. I gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Prophecy holds that Galahorn is the Herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it... Holds it, Treus. We will discuss in private. <laughs> I knew he'd left something behind. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Odin's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel were so frazzled I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceable. What? Irreplaceable? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here. And you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. I'm sorry, love. Beardo is the one who found me wounded in the jungle when I was trying to find my way back here. Watched over me as I slept. I never thanked him. If you want to thank him, don't get captured again. Promise. I promise, love. 